At 17 months of age, I had a high fever. The fever was so high in it that while I was at the hospital, they packed me in ice. Ended up throwing a seizure that lasted almost an hour. And then 24 years later, my seizures reoccur. And it was two weeks into my third pregnancy. And that's when I was diagnosed with epilepsy. And for 10 years, I tried to outlive. I tried to outlast. I tried to overcome the seizures that were overtaking my life. The only thing I found that would break the onset of a seizure for me was when I'd go run. And so whenever I had that sensation that a seizure was gonna erupt, I'd run to the front door, I'd put my running shoes on, and I'd head off to the Pikes National Forest. And that's where my ultra running career really began, was through running from the fear of having a seizure. One grand mal seizure takes me longer to recover from than running 430 miles for 10 days on one to two hours of sleep a night and 50 blow temps. When we started talking about this brain surgery, I, I was begging. At that point in time, I was having three to five seizures a week. I was at really more of a risk of dying from a seizure than I was from, from living a fulfilling life. They saw the side of my head open, they removed the size of a kiwi out of my right temporal lobe, put my skull back on, wired me shut, and sent me off to ICU. So what's life like now? I'm seizure free, I'm off all medications, I'm running the most enduring events in the world, but I struggle with um, short term memory loss, sense of direction is extremely difficult. Time management's very difficult. I can run for days, I can run for hours, but I know I've been out there, it's not like I forget about the day, because I feel it, I, I hurt. Um, but I do lose a sense of time. So how do I run these races in the middle of nowhere? If I have a hard time remembering the trail or which way I'm going, and when I'm by myself, I need to be aware of the trail. I do a lot by sensory. When I'm doing the winter type of expedition runs, I feel the trail. If I step off the trail, then I, I sink in snow maybe up to my knee or my thigh so I can feel where I am. Or a lot of times if I come to a V, and I don't know, I'm not quite sure which way to go, I have a little ribbon with me in my first aid kit. And I'll pull that out and I'll drop it on the trail or I'll make a mark or something. So that if I go the wrong way and I don't see another mile marker or something out there to cue me that I'm on the right trail, I can come back and then I have something there to remind me. I have a, something I write all my notes on and I kind of cellophane it and then that way I'll just stick it in my shorts or wherever it is so I can refer to that. That, that to me is my map. We all endure trials in our life. And mine was epilepsy. And now having a part of my brain removed, I struggle with things daily for the normal person that they don't. But it's not about what I can't do. It's about what I can do, and I find that in my passion and my gift for running in the mountains all over the world.